Yo, I got a question. Say you have beats and songs on BandLab. Is there a way to get that on my PC? Because I got BandLab and Cakewalk on my PC, but I used to record on my phone. But when I go to record on my PC, my music from BandLab on my phone isn't on BandLab PC. Not sure if or how I can get that stuff back. Now, let's get into this. Because I have here my phone and I have my project up that I just created. Now, let me tell you what might be happening. Sean, this might be your problem is, because I've done the same thing, is that you might not have saved your project in BandLab Mobile, and that's the reason why it's not showing up on the PC version, because if you're logged into the same account, okay, so I'm logged into my email address. This is my Just a Norm account, and I'm good to go. So if I log into that same account on my PC version, then I should see everything there. But if I'm logging under a different account, that might be one reason why you can't find it, or you are not saving it. Because when I originally started messing with this app on the mobile version, I did not save the projects that I had, but I do have some projects that I did save. I posted two videos on YouTube that deal with the BandLab mobile app just because, you know, I was playing around with it, but I never did save those projects. And when I went to go look earlier today, I was like, hmm, I don't see my projects either. So I'm wondering if I did not save it. So this is what's going to happen is normally you'll see a little door. It's kind of like a door. I think of it a door like you're exiting the door. And then once you exit, it takes you back to uh wherever you might be you might be on the home screen you might be in the search you might be in the uh, notifications or you might be um i kind of like a music folder and then i can go and look at my projects well you can see that there are some projects that are on here my 10 year anniversary that's a song leave the door open when i did the acapella version of that most of the projects that i brought in here were mainly just so i can actually do some mastering because Fan Lab does have a free master. So I was just like, hey, let me see if this mastering software would do a really good job with this tune. So that's why I brought it in. But most of the songs that I was just creating here just for fun, I never did say because I wasn't really taking them seriously. Now I do have a new project that I started uh, April 28th and July 27th. And I think I was doing those on the actual desktop version of Fan Lab. Um, so I'm still playing around with it, but here is one that I did 45 minutes ago, and this is my new groove. Uh, if I was doing a new project, let's do new, all right, and then it opens up a new one. And let's say I'm going to do a virtual instrument. Let's do the grand piano. I click on it and let's say I want to record. Okay, all right, awesome. Just trying to see if I recorded something. This thing is always a little confusing to me if I wanted to quantize or change the tempo, I can do it that way. Or, but I'm not even trying to worry about that. This is not a tutorial about how to use BandLab. This is just showing what happens when you get ready to exit. It's gonna say, hey, do you wanna save all the changes before leaving? And you might press discard. So this is not like Google Suites where as soon as you start typing or are creating a song, it just automatically saves everything. This is operating just like your typical doll. You have to make sure you save things. Now, Sean, I'm not saying that you did not save it. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying this might be one reason why you can't find it. Or, like I said, you might be under another account. But if you do have it and you see, oh, I've got the same project, like when I go back, uh, I'll discard that one because I'm not really too pleased with that one. But here's the project that I have. Okay, we love it, but I'm not trying to do this right now. All right, so here's my new groove. And it's just something I just created. Still not really doing anything fancy with it, just playing it. Okay. All 
All right, so I'm very simple or whatever. If I want to make sure that project is in the actual PC version, let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to put this away. Okay, so I'm in the BandLab app. I am still logged in. And then when I go back to my library, that's what it's called. It looks like a music note, an eighth note on a folder. You will see all the same projects that I had on my mobile version. Now, when I look at deleted projects, you can check here and see if you deleted it by accident. This might be one thing that you did. You might actually just deleted the project and didn't know it. Well, here's the problem. Deleted projects will be stored here for 30 days. So after 30 days, it gets rid of it. So here's my new groove here. Uh, and I just clicked on it and we can play it here. I can play the audio here. Okay, I can play it there, I can download it, I can share it, I can publish it, um, I can do a bunch of other things. I can create a release, I can distribute you know, distribute it, uh, promote the track. I mean, it's a bunch of things that you can do on her. And, or I can go back to the studio and bring it up and then do some more editing to it. 